Hi, it's Vicky here with a fun event this week. I'm featuring the latest release by Averiel and I will post 5 videos in 5 days, from Monday through Friday. Also on my blog there is a giveaway, so make sure to visit for a chance to win one stamp set by Averiel from their latest release. Today I will be working with this clear stamp set, which is called Carolyn Critters, and I also have the matching ties. Now, uh, first of all, I am going to pick up some of the images, such as uh, the bear, as well as the lamppost, the bunny and the owl, and I am going to stamp them on uh, a piece of white cardstock. For stamping all my images, I am using Memento Toxido Black Ink, and that's because I will be using my Copics to color everything. I'm using my Copic markers to color everything. I'm doing just a little bit of blending, not too much. And uh, of course you can use your favorite method for coloring all those images. And I am going to skip this part and uh, let's go directly to the spot where all those images are already colored. I picked up the matching ties and I'm going to place them on top of those cute uh, images and uh, just to make sure that they will stay in place I'm going to secure them down by using some uh, tiny pieces of post-it tape. And I am going to run them through my Sizzix die cutting machine. And when you cut them out you will get a nice white border all around which is going to help them stand out against the background. So for my card base today I picked a dark uh, blue one and uh, this is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I have prepared my surface which means that I have applied some powder which is anti-static and it's going to help uh, the embossing powder to stick where only where it's supposed to. I am going to stamp the sentiment from the stamp set. At the top corner of my card base I'm using Versa marking and then I'm going to apply white embossing powder. You will see that although it's uh, quite difficult to apply white against a dark background, I don't have any random bits and pieces stuck all around my card and that's because I have used the anti-static tool. Out of white cardstock I have created this thin frame. I have used two of my rectangle dies through my Sizzix machine to create it and now I'm using a strong glue at the back because I am going for a shaker card today. So I'm creating the window. I am going to uh, stick the acetate at the back. I didn't apply too much glue because I wanted my frame to be nice and clean without any glue going outside of the frame. And now I need to add some foam tape at the back of this frame. Now since this is such a thin uh, frame, I need to use my scissors to cut out my uh, foam. The foam that I am using is by Scotch and it's uh, really easy to cut out with your scissors and also the pattern at the bagging is helping me to cut out everything nice and straight. Now my window is ready and at the front, I'm working at the front right now, I am using those two white pieces of paper that I have uh, cut out in a curve and uh, they will be the snowbanks for my little scene. So I'm trying to decide where everything is going to be placed and once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to use some foam tape at the back. So today I'm going for a shaker cut with a lot of dimension. For the next couple of months I will be creating lots of Christmas cards and uh, just to let you know that I never uh, create um, a bunch of uh, the same uh, Christmas cards to send to everybody. I like to send uh, special and unique cards to each and every one and so for this year this is the first one that I am creating. And now that I have the snow banks with dimension one on top of the other, I'm going to decide where well, all those elements are going to uh, be. I am going to place the lamppost at the very back, so I am adding some uh, tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it directly on the acetate. The bear is going to stay at the very front and I am taking in account the different layers, so sometimes you need to double up on foam tape so that everything is going to stay flat. 
If you notice, I have three different layers, one on top of the other. So that's the acetate, the middle one, where I am going to stick uh, those uh, two guys sinking, and then the front one where the bear is uh, staying. For the inside of the windows, I had those uh, sequins in uh, snowflake uh, designs, which uh, are really sparkly and I think they match perfectly this card. I'm adding a few at the center of uh, my card front and then I'm going to peel off the backing from the foam tip and stick the card directly at the front. And as a finishing touch, I am going to add some uh, glitter with my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen. And that was the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to come back tomorrow for the second day of my week featuring Avriel. Thank you all for watching. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I am creating cards featuring Avriel.